Hello everybody. Now that I have successfully repaired this Vizio M50-C1 smart TV by replacing the main board, my plan is to now replace integrated circuit U202 which, and see if that chip was the problem. It'll be an inexpensive repair or experiment, whatever you want to call it. I think the chip is uh, under $15 delivered. And we'll see whether that fixes the TV. If you're interested in the diagnostic steps I went through to fix this particular TV, be sure to check the link in the upper right hand corner. I'll put a link to a prior video which shows some of the symptoms and perhaps if you have those same symptoms, the fix that I employed will fix your TV as well. I was able to do it for less than $100. I got this TV for free. So I do not have a hot air station, which is the proper tool to remove that surface mounted EEPROM. So my plan is to just take my very inexpensive heat gun, I have a little nozzle for it that allows me to concentrate the heat, and then I'm going to apply heat with this. I'm not going to shoot any video, I'm going to just apply some heat, remove that IC, being extra careful to try to not melt this heat transfer pad, these rubber pads. Putting the new IC on will be really, really simple. I'll just use a very, very fine tip soldering iron, magnifying glass, and go in and make all eight solder connections. So I'll flux this up a little bit, use my heat gun, and remove the chip. I'm not going to show you. There are lots of videos out there that will show you how to do this. So using my uh, heat gun with this nozzle, I was able to get the EEPROM off very, very quickly. It only took a couple of minutes just moving the gun around to heat it up. Used a pair of tweezers and grabbed the chip and lifted it right off the board. It's pretty clean. I'll use some solder wick to clean that up and then some alcohol to clean the pads before I reattach the new EEPROM. I've actually never unsoldered a device using my heat gun. But I'm really happy with the results on this one, given it was my first try. Here it is all cleaned up and ready for the new chip. I'm just waiting for it to arrive.